is that with some diseases, such as measles and the chickenpox, after you get it once, you're already immune. But with others, such as the flu, the common coronavirus, and possibly even COVID-19, you're able to contract them more than once. All this yard work stirring up a lot of dust, which can be made up of bacteria, germs. All of this going into my lungs can trigger an immune system response. Now that my immune system is getting to work, I think it's a great time to learn about it. So let's step right on inside to our immune system. Whoa, that was quite a journey. We have two subsystems that make up the immune system. The first being the innate immune system, which we are born with. This can be a protectant such as the skin or your mucus. The second is the adaptive immune system, which is what we acquire through exposure to different infections. Your immune system produces proteins called antibodies that protect you when a pathogen enters the body. Antibodies are made of cells called B lymphocytes after the body has been exposed to a pathogen. Let's talk about immunity. When a pathogen enters the body, B cells recognize the pathogen and transform into plasma cells. Why are antibodies important? The first time a pathogen enters the body, only some of the B cells turn into plasma cells, which means the rest become memory B cells. So that the second time the pathogen enters the body, memory B cells are already there, turning into plasma cells, ready to fight off the infection. This is how immunity occurs. I like to think of immunity kind of like having a best friend. Once you meet your best friend, whenever you see them again, you'll recognize them. That's just like in the immune system. Once the antibody has seen the pathogen, it'll recognize it when it comes back. Then they'll begin fighting the pathogen much faster. But that's not to say you should go off fighting your best friend every time you see them. If antibodies stay in your body, why don't all diseases cause immunity? I like to think of it this way. Say you have this classmate, you don't really hit it off, but then you don't see him again for the next few months, maybe even a year. When they return the next year, you don't recognize them anymore. This is similar to the way antibodies only recognize pathogens for a certain amount of time. Well, looking at antibody responses for COVID-19, many patients had a strong antibody response, while other patients had a weaker antibody response, ones that are most likely to get the virus for a second time. For this reason, COVID-19 was first seen as a greater risk to older people and therefore the ability to produce antibodies and plasma cells diminish. The fact that the common coronaviruses can give immunity for up to a year can be telling for immunity regarding COVID-19, but none of this can be confirmed without further research. Another reason immunity may not occur is because antibodies were never even created in the first place. Sometimes the innate immune system is just so on top of its game that it destroys the pathogen before it even reaches the adaptive immune system. So now that we understand why immunity may or may not occur, why is immunity so important anyways? Lead to herd immunity, and no, this does not mean that your herd of cows will be pathogen free. Herd immunity is when enough people are immune to a disease that it's no longer able to spread, meaning that the disease can be eradicated like measles were in 2000. This is why vaccinations are so important. I think it's time to get out of here. It feels so good to be back outside again. Now that you know how the immune system works, it's important that you take care of it, so make sure to stay healthy outside. I hope you guys learned something new. Bye!